250,000 more deaths per year is best case scenario? Beauty, thy name is climate change. Hello, my condemned victims. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm End, and as you know by now, my life goal is to kill all of you people. Up until now, I haven't exactly been that successful. To be honest, last month was rough. It got dark. <laughs> I have no idea why this got recorded, but I'm not afraid to show it. This is real. This is me. But anyways, today I'm just gonna sit back and watch you guys kill yourselves. How you ask? Easy. You get hot, and then you pop. Humans continue to burn fossil fuels and climate change goes on. Ready to start simulation. Over the course of Earth's history, climate has been in constant change. However, for the past 12,000 years, it has been relatively stable. This led to the Neolithic Revolution. Humans stopped being nomads and settled down. They developed from cavemen to the most successful species on Earth. Debatable. At best. But this stability ended with the Industrial Revolution, a pivotal moment for capitalism which saw the development of technologies dependent on fossil fuels. Ah, <sighs> capitalism. Great for everyone involved. The burning of fossil fuels like coal, gas, or oil releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. While the air on our planet only contains a very small amount of carbon dioxide, it is nevertheless one of the most significant greenhouse gases. The more carbon dioxide humans release, the warmer the Earth will become. The first effects of climate change are already observable today. While no single natural disaster can be attributed to climate change, the higher number of them can. In the last 50 years, the world's glaciers have melted off billions of tons of ice. Sea level is slowly rising, and while it is not yet enough to completely flood whole areas, seawater can still infiltrate groundwater in coastal regions and make wells unusable. I was gonna say that things would get saltier than the low community, but who am I kidding? Soon, the Arctic will be ice-free in summer. In 2016, 196 countries signed the Paris Agreement. But to this date, humans have not done enough to reach this goal. The World Health Organization estimates that 250 million people would still die annually between 2030 and 2050 in this best case scenario. 250,000 more deaths per year is best case scenario? Beauty, thy name is climate change. Streets and see there's beauty all around me. Clear water and trees, and not a single dead whale in sight. The air we breathe is fresh and pure. Everything is fine, there's nothing. When temperatures rise beyond the plus two degrees Celsius goal, the melting of ice in Greenland, the Arctic, and the Antarctic cannot be stopped anymore. Sea level rise becomes unavoidable. Not all living beings can escape the warming temperatures or adapt fast enough. Many species are going to die out.
Even with irrigation, agricultural production will become impossible in large regions of the world. As a consequence, people will start to migrate, most probably to Europe, since it is one of the regions which will suffer the least from climate change. Okay, so you Europeans, 2015 was a joke compared to this. What are you going to do? Build a wall? Shoot rescue vessels in the Mediterranean Sea? Or make more deals with wannabe dictators? At roughly plus 8 degrees Celsius, Earth will be like it was 30 million years ago. CO2 levels in the atmosphere will be high and make it hard for humans to breathe. You know when you're in a small room with lots of people and at some point you just have to open a window because your head gets fuzzy? Yeah, forget it. You can't open a window in the atmosphere! At a plus of 11 degrees Celsius, all ice on Earth is going to melt. This in turn leads to a sea level rise of around 75 meters and to the flooding of many regions, some of which are nowadays densely populated. Other regions, which were once fertile grounds, will become hot deserts in which life is nearly impossible. I've fucking done it. I've fucking done it! Well, actually you did. Because honestly, I haven't moved one single spike protein. Earth will get hotter and hotter and hotter, and soon you will all be completely roasted. Error result is incorrect. Error, you did not consider that humans probably will not be able to burn off fossil fuels. Their economic system will collapse long before that because of previous consequences of climate change. <sighs> <laughs> I'm willing to take that risk. Error. Even if humans burn everything, temperatures would only rise to a plus of roughly 11 degrees Celsius. This would kill many, but not all humans. <coughs> Error. Humans could develop effective technologies to extract CO2 from the atmosphere. Error. You did not consider that the most serious consequences, such as extremely high sea levels, would take thousands of years to happen giving humanity time to adapt. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs>